Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you guys my boo bas baskets, my welcome to Halloween baskets for my kiddos. So if you guys are not subscribed, consider subscribing and joining my family over here. So what this is, is every Halloween at the beginning of the month. It doesn't necessarily have to be October 1st, but within that week, I want to give my kids kind of like a boo basket Welcome to Halloween baskets. I am a mom who loves every single holiday. I love to celebrate so much. So I have four kids. My oldest is 18 and my youngest is eight. And there's a lot of different varieties and different options that I wanna share with you because not every basket is Halloween theme. It can be kind of welcome to fall as well if you don't celebrate Halloween. So I've kind of got something for everybody. So the first basket, well, let's talk about my son because his basket is has nothing to do really much with Halloween. It's more welcome into fall, October, what's happening? I mean, football is in just going and we are big football fans over here. So the first thing I did, I did get him a little candy bucket. All the buckets you see are from Target Dollar Spot and you can find them right now at all my Dollar Trees at least. They were a dollar. So this one says Goblin Candy Goblin Candy All Night, which I mean just I thought that was really cute. So this is kind of the only really Halloween and then I'll, I'll share with you everything that I have on each kids basket and then I'll share with you how I decorate the basket and everything comes from the Dollar Tree that I decorate with. So the first thing, I, I go really simple. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, you guys. So I just went into the Dollar Tree. He loves Kit Kat. So it wouldn't be a Halloween basket without a little bit of a treat. I don't go crazy. So he gets a little thing of Kit Kat. And then I did put a little bit of the... I found this at the Dollar Tree. And it's like the little shredded stuff but it looks like candy corn so I thought that was really awesome so I have a little bit of that down at the bottom and then the little tag that I have right here I got this at the Dollar Tree I thought this would be really cute to kind of use it as a tag and I'll, and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it so with his basket we are big Green Bay Packer fans we just we are. Anybody else love Green Bay Packer? So I thought this was really cute. It's just a little can holder with a Green Bay. I got this on Amazon. I think it was like $12. So I figured he would be, because we love football, he can put his like soda in there and just relax and watch football. So I picked that up for him. And then also this t-shirt. It is like a cheese. <laughs> Packers cheese so I thought this was really great I think I paid like $22 for this on Amazon and then it has a little football on the sleeve so that's what I have in his basket so if you have older kids that your kids are not really into like PJs you know or Halloween shirts or something like that I think this would be a really good option for any teen in your life you can put soda in here as well which I'll probably end up doing but I think this is very simple stuff that they're gonna get use out of and he'll definitely get use out of that because it's we love football okay next up I do have an eight-year-old daughter so this is more going towards the theme of Halloween she's little so she still likes the Halloween type of things so I thought this was great this is her little bucket from Target this one says sweet and spooky I thought that was really really great so at the Target dollar spot right now these were a dollar so they're little dogs that have costumes on them. I mean for a buck so I thought that was really good. They have tons to pick from you guys but I just picked up three. So we have the little unicorn dog right there and then we also have this like little was like a dragon I guess little dog. I just think these are so cute. So for a dollar I thought that was great and then also I have a little bit of the like um candy corn little fluff in there and then this cup comes from Dollar General and it's got the little Halloween dog she is obsessed with anything dogs dogs and unicorns are her favorite this I paid five dollars for you can also like put candy in here if you want I really love these cups to give to her because can you see right there it like glows 
So I thought that was really, really great. It says happy Halloween on it with the dogs. And then I also, for her candy, I always like to go to like TJ Maxx and Ross because they always have these cute little packages. So this just basically is gummy candy. This is the Boom candy. This, this is one of my favorite candy companies. They have so Oh my gosh, if you're looking for some good candy, highly recommend these. And it is just, can you guys see? It's just like all spooky and like, I just love it. It's just the packaging is just really, really cute. And I paid $4.99 for this bag of candy. So I thought that was great. And then at Ross, this is the blanket. I'll, I kept the tag so I can kind of share with you. So this is the blanket that I have. And what it looks like is this. So it's one of those blankets that she can be a witch. So she can lay down and then her head is right there. And so that's like her little body. I thought these were so cute. So they had witch ones, they had ghouls and goblins, and I paid $9.99 for this. So I thought that was such a great, a great, I just love it. I mean, a nice cozy blanket in October. I thought that was great. So that is her basket. So I have an almost 17 year old a daughter and she's kind of the same way. She's a little picky. She loves Halloween, but Halloween items she can take, you know, it's, it's whatever. And so she really loves to draw. This is, I mean, she's such a great artist. I think I've shared with you her art in the past and she's just phenomenal. So her bucket I picked for her, it says you've been booed and it's blue and dropping stuff so she loves to draw so Ross has really good stuff right now if you have an artist in your life so she needed a new sketching book this one says create something magical so it kind of goes in with like the Halloween theme it's black and it's kind of spooky I thought it was really great and I paid $5.99 this normally goes for 10 bucks and then in with all their art supplies, they have a lot of good like pencils and markers. So I got her a big thing, I'm dropping everything. I got her a big thing of King Art twin tip brush pens. You get 40 of 48 of them. This is so nice. And you guys, this was $16.99 compared to $22. So I thought that was great. So if you have an artist in your life, definitely check out Ross. And then I also picked up these. These, I thought these were great. These are 18 fine liners and they are $4.99. So I thought she'd be really like those because they're so like you can do so many things with those and she just, she loves to draw. So I thought that would be great for her basket. Okay, so I have an 18 year old daughter and we are kind of similar on the things that we like. So I know she would get a kick out of this. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. My six, seven, oh, 16, almost 17 year old daughter, this is the candy that I got her. I almost forgot to share with her candy. So it's the same, um, boom, this is like the best candy. I love the packaging. Here's like the little gummies and I paid $4.99 for that. So that's her little treat. Okay, so my 18 year old daughter, this one is, her purple's her favorite color. So this is Witch and Famous. And then I also have the little fluff, the little candy corn fluff in here. Her favorite candy is Reese's Pieces. So, or not Reese's Pieces, but Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, Dollar Tree. So super inexpensive. She is a girl who loves fluffy socks. So, I mean, Nightmare Before Christmas. Look at these. These are so great. And nothing says fall and Halloween, I think, with a nice fluffy socks. So these are the ones that have the grips on the back and I got this at TJ Maxx for $6.99. Right now TJ Maxx Ross has a lot of cute Halloween items for very inexpensive. So I picked that up for her and then I thought this was so cool. So Wet Brush came out with their their villains line and I just thought this was so great. So I got the Evil Queen for her. 
Oh my gosh, and they had tons to pick from, you guys, but figured the Evil Queen would be great. And I got this at, oh, does it not? Oh yeah, it does. TJ Maxx for $6.99 as well. So if you have teens in your life, I really think that they would love it. And then she loves to do like hot cocoa and teas in the morning. So I got her this cup. Oh my gosh, this mug. I thought it was super oh I love it I think it's great and inside is really pretty as well I got this at home goods for $3.99 so that is what I got the kids you really don't have to go crazy just something little simple just to say hey I love you you know let's be excited about the month of October and you know things that we can watch movies she can take her sock and cuddle up on the couch you know she can drink her hot cocoa I just tried to really cater to each one of my kids so if you have younger kids I mean the Halloween Halloween pajamas I know most of us moms we buy like the Halloween pajamas put that in the basket with maybe if you have a new if they need a new trick-or-treat bag use that as their like little bucket and then a few little candies and maybe like a cute little toy you don't have to go crazy but it just makes the day so special so what I will do is I will get up in that morning and I'll make like the table all spooky kind of and just set out there their little buckets. I might do it like after school or before school. It just kind of depends on my schedule. And then they wake up or they'll get home from school and I'll have like a little spread out and we will watch a movie. They'll get their buckets and it's just something that my kids really look forward to every year and I love doing it. So I couldn't forget about the puppies. I mean, I took care of my babies, but my fur babies are very very important so TJ Maxx right now has some really cute dog toys and I just I couldn't get over this so I picked up the Friday the 13th a dog toy I paid $5.99 for that as well as the nightmare on Elm Street <laughs> I also paid $5.99 so we have two toys and then I also picked out treats now this one I got at Target. It's the Boo Barks. These are the crunchy dog biscuits baked with pumpkin and cinnamon. I paid like $4.99 for these. These are really good. My dogs love them. They don't have any meat and bone meal, no wheat or anything like that. So my dogs really love the little these. And then the TJ Maxx and Marshalls, all those have dog treats as well so this was at Marshall's and this is a lazy dog this is the American made my dogs really love it this is a mix mixed berry and pumpkin and this is like no wheat no any of that bad stuff and this is what this one looks like so they I mean you gotta have toys and treats for them also Okay, so all I did was wrap up the gift basket. They have a little gift basket like buckets. That's what I use. And then to kind of make it a little spooky, they come in a pack of two. And you can get these at the Dollar Tree. They look like this. And this one I just put the witches in like that. And I just put it on top of her basket. And that that's her basket. That's how I'm going to set up the little table and then put these next to where they sit and then they'll have their little basket to welcome Halloween, welcome fall. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I gave you some ideas today and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.